Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here at all. Don't tell the wife. Oh, I couldn't help myself. They had a sale. Oh, isn't that what they always tell us when they buy stuff, our wives? It was on sale. <laughs> Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. That's right, I did it again. Bought another RC. This thing just, I know it's been out for a while. The laser nut by Lozy. It's been out for a minute, but uh, I honestly, this is the first time I saw it. Uh, I'm gonna be working on rearranging the shop. I don't have the most space, but I'm gonna try to maximize it so that way I can do these unboxings a little bit better than that. Oh man. Oh wow, that is cool looking. Let me guess, it's strapped, of course. Ooh, wow, look at that thing. Check it, they actually give you batteries. All right, got the same old DX3 controller. These are nice, I like that. That means this thing has stability control. Some people like it, some don't. But hey, I'd rather it have it and not need it or want it than then just put a cheap stuff in here. Basic owner's manual, I'm not too interested in that right now. Curious what this is. So, Looks like we have an antenna cap for some reason. Got a fallenness at laser nut racing. I guess it's like a keychain there. Got a speed pinion and some tools. I'm not going to go too much into this. It's, it's been out for a while. Uh, they had just a really nice sale on it, like $200 off. And, I thought this was just a, such a cool looking design and that I was like, why not? Uh, I was trying to behave. I was trying to behave. And then they had these sales, man. Look at this. This, wow, they even got the little air hoses going to the helmets, a little cockpit design. So we got some lights going on here. That is cool. Spare tire action. Looks very weird to do. <laughs> oh, those come out really nice. That's nice. And I think what I saw, this is, yeah, flips up. Um, oh, so what is this? So, man, that hold on, it's taking me a minute because I don't know anything about this. This is weird. Whatever this little pieces here it feels like something's holding it from okay so those pieces there so oh these arms here i thought they had something to do with oh wait a minute ah oh, very slick so these arms here you think they're part of, they are part of the suspension or you would think maybe they're just a hinge for this. But here's what it is. That's how they, they had the anti-sway bar hooked into here. Ah, look at that. Anti-sway bar in the front, too. Take note of that, Trax. Let's take note. <laughs> so, uh, look, little motor. No fan. I'm not a fan of that. Well, I can't believe I just said that. No fan. I don't like that. You guys know how I feel about that. The electronics are here in the open. That's very weird. I mean, you have plenty of space right here. So I don't like that. I have ordered a box to put this in, and we will put a fan on here. But I'm going to run it the way it is right now. Uh, just test it out, see what kind of temps that we get. This thing is very saggy in the rear, it's especially when you have that, that backup. But, man, very, very clean on the inside. Very clean. I like that. So, you don't see a whole lot of support here. This is really open. There's only one brace going from here to the middle. It runs partway down to about here, and then from here to here. And then you have this center brace here in the middle. So, 
you do have an adjustable servo saver here, so your standard like dual crank system. Uh, I wonder, can we get to the power button? Oh yeah, you can. So I don't know if this can be good or bad, but you can get to the power button with the body on. Uh, so that's kind of cool. It looks amazing. This front is definitely stiffer than the rear. Uh, and I know. Uh, let me see. What? Okay, so. Might be this tire, man. That's a. It's a lot of weight hanging aft of the car. So. That might be something I take off. I actually. Th I don't know, man. How's it going to handle, like, landing on it? That's a whole lot of. I might just, I think I'm actually just going to go ahead and take it off. I mean, aesthetically, I mean, it looks like the real race car. It looks like that. Oh, yeah, look at that. When you put that on there, how much it... I'm just afraid that this thing sticks out so much, and it being rubber, that when you land, it's really going to yank on this thing. I have a wing here from my XRT. Look at that. That might... I actually, wow... I actually kind of like that. Now the army guy's going to hate me if I put a Traxxas part on here, but that looks... That looks nice, actually. These two that I took off of... Man, I can't remember what it came off of. <laughs> the... I think it came off the uh, little baby in front. Oh no, actually I think this came off of the... Yeah, it came off the felony. That's what it came off of. But see, it would be at a weird angle unless I bolted it flat like that. But then, ooh, I don't know, man. What do you think? A little Traxxas swing? Come on, I think, oh, that, I think I might have to do that. Look at it. It almost, it's like it's designed for it. Hmm, I really wish... That's very shallow, and I wish this was like a metal insert like you see on some of the Armas. It does not feel like the most robust plastic in the world, to be honest. But yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I just see like if you take a jump or something like that, this thing's sticking out, and the way it's rubber, it's really just going to grab. And Maybe it's good. Maybe it's like a bumper. Boing, boing. I don't know. I'm just kind of afraid of coming down on it and it's so big so like I said it's a good bit of weight man as soon as you put that on there it drops that thing down but man I like this thing this thing just it looks really cool oh, that feels nice and smooth smooth action oh man I like it man so far so far so good I'm starting to get into where I really want to check these servo savers, so we got good spring action. Liking that. So you guys know the deal. We're gonna I got a battery charged. Um, I hope it fits. This is not the roomiest of trays. Uh, I know Traxxas gets a lot of crap about their trays, but um uh, Almost any brand out there can have some type of limitations. I hate these damn straps. Really do. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I just... Not a fan of the way these things work, so... Let's see here. Oh, wow. Wow, that has some bright lights. Holy moly. Wow, that is something else. Ooh, even the yellow is fairly bright there. That white. <laughs> All right, man, you guys know the deal. We're gonna go out there, do a speed run, see how fast it is for the heck of it. And then we're gonna go out there and bash it. We'll take some jumps, see how it does, doing some moderate jumps. And I feel like it can, uh, more than handle oh wow oh yeah that's plush 
We'll see how it jumps, and then uh, we'll go run it. See you outside. Here we are at the spot. We're gonna do our speed run. But look at this. This is a. Uh, I always had the hardest time because the GoPro's on my head, so it needs to be way out. Those are the wobbliest tires I have ever seen. Oh no, my wing. Let me know what you think of the wing. See? It's moving. I moved the wing again. Ah, see what it does. It's not terribly fast. <laughs> I do like the lights. That does look cool. See, 42, not too bad, not too bad. Did not feel that fast at all. All right, I want everybody to remember that when I do these unboxings, the box is sealed. I'm opening it for the very first time. Uh, when you see me out here, this is the very first time of me driving this car. I don't have any experience jumping it. I don't have any experience with all that stuff so this is all very first time all right so when i do this it's the very first time i'm experiencing some of this so sometimes it gets a little hard you know because i've never jumped this thing but man she's doing good so i just want to do a few jumps here and then we're gonna move on to someplace a little rougher. Or uh, go someplace where I can uh, show the suspension working a little bit more than what I can out here. All right, let's see if it'll backflip. Oh, 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 that did not sound good on the landing there.
we go. A little better. Uh, let's do just one, a couple more jumps. <laughs> Got pretty good air control. Not too bad for just 4S. <laughs> Love it. Now see this thing. Oh, what's going on back there? Got something flopping around. Oh no. Where did all that go? How did that fall out? Uh oh. That doesn't make any sense. Well, dang. I could not find that piece anywhere. But it's time to move on. Maybe get out of this wind. But uh, we're going to move someplace a little rougher terrain. Alright, I know it's not rock crawling, but this is a rock racer, so it's not a rock crawler. But you would expect it to be able to handle terrain like this. Just And apparently it does. Because this is going through this stuff, no problem. Man. Oh. It's soaking this stuff up, really. I'm surprised. Let's see how it handles all this. See, this is what I thought like the uh, Max Slash would do. Ooh, uh, really well. And it does now, I got it fixed. say though this thing's not even really that fun here just uh ground pounding like this i really wish i had something that was like rockier unfortunately that's, that's all i can do here in florida is that rock there for you that rock Man, this definitely opens up some opportunities to do some different driving in places. Uh, there's a lot of vines and stuff through here, so... I don't think that wing's gonna work out, man. It just looks goofy. It's all shifted. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll put the tire on there. I just... I don't know. I'm afraid it's gonna, like... Get damaged. But I haven't seen anybody in the reviews complain about it, so uh, it is heavy though, man. It does like really bring the back end down. Oh yeah. Man, guys, there you have it. The Low Z Laser Nut. I said nothing new. They just had a hell of a sale on it, man. It was just kind of hard to pass pass this thing up. It's pretty cool, man. I like the lights. Lately, here I've been getting a lot of RCs with lights. I never thought much of them before, but man, I think uh, I like it, man. Man, I'm liking this. Oops. A small, I think they call it 10 scale, which is kind of big for 10. But it's, I guess, built one tenth the size of the real car. Uh, I like the size of it and that it can do all this because normally the smaller scale vehicles struggle in this stuff. Like, ain't no way I'd be bouncing through these pine cones and like I said, for a small scale car, this thing does great through this stuff. You know, old Tug said he wanted me to get a crawler. I should get into that. So this will probably be the uh, closest I get for now. <laughs> it kind of a crawler. Uh, well, 
Oops. I guess uh, if it was a crawler, it would have a, like a censored motor and it would do... But it seems to do fine at low speeds. Usually like a motor like this that's not censored struggles at low speed. But they probably have it geared up, that's why the, the top end's not that great, but... It's still pretty damn fast though. All right, so man, let's go home. I'll check this thing over, see uh, if we had any damage, and then uh, give you my final thoughts on the Lozy Laser Nut. <laughs> oh man, this thing's cool. the laser nut by Lozy. check it out guys i am a fan i really like this rc i really really do uh like normal i'll go over the things that i kind of dislike first or maybe just some concerns here uh, i did notice when i was cleaning it these hinge pins don't seem to be there's a lot of play in here I'm not sure if that's going to be like a long-term problem, but it is a little, because I don't think I've ever seen control arms slop around here. It's not the most stout stuff in here, but I got to keep reminding myself that this is what they call like a rock racer. They don't really design it for big air. Can it do big air? I think it, I think it can. I would caution because of the lack of bracing inside i think you would bend this chassis so if you want to jump big air i would look at probably bigger stronger shocks some type of reinforcement for the chassis inside and out something like that i mean it's not that like these shocks here if you look very very thin um shafts right there so i'm not sure how much of a beating it can it would take on the skate park now, i'm disappointed that my pieces fell out um so i'm gonna have to see if they don't sell this piece or something like that that's on me uh, i really can't say anything about the spare tire because it is what it is uh they were making a replica of the car and this is the way the real race car is so you can still see it's puts quite a bit of weight on there so I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll put it on and run it like that for a while and just see how it goes. But um, like one thing I, I mentioned earlier, this hex is not very deep. That's kind of a little worrying. And this the plastic just does not feel very strong. So if you were going to bash this thing, like get some big air, I would probably look at a uh, better rim setup. The tires are probably fine. It's the uh, this wheel. Just I don't know. It just does not feel like it's very stout plastic now i could be wrong this is just my uh redneck engineering kind of <laughs> looking at stuff and that's another thing uh these are the worst <laughs> balanced tires i have ever seen have you did you see how wobbly they were this is the worst i've ever seen um we're going in i'll say this on any car no fan on the on the motor just no excuse for that really i think i need to move this a little bit there that way these wires and then my next uh issue i would say is the receiver being here i don't know if the receiver can really if it's waterproof or dirt proof on its own without a case and i'm sorry i forgot to show this before uh we took off but i got it mounted here i did have to put a little extension on the servo itself it just made it a little bit easier you see i got plenty of wire here but the servo thing ends here so if i pulled it in it's, it kind of was really tight to get that in there and i wanted to push this back a little bit because if, if i put it a little bit too far it does hit the anti-sway bar there so i want to make sure it was back far enough that it wouldn't interfere so and if i could figure this out i think somebody at lozy could have figured a better way of mounting that instead of just sticking it right here where you know it's right behind the tire when you're turning but other than that man uh 
I really dig the RC. I think it's it's great. Um, I, well, I guess I got one other. I mean, it's it's kind of peppy, but I really do wish it had like more power. Like it would wheelie. Maybe that would take away from what the car is designed to do. I don't know. Because definitely the like the parts in here don't look <laughs> like these little axle shafts. They do not look like they can handle six S. Four S is probably pushing it, but I, I do kind of wish they would have designed it for six S. That would have been fantastic. A little little extra power, a little uh, torque, the wheelie. But uh, other than that, and like I said, it's not the strongest. Uh, most stout stuff but I think it's just it's kind of like a fast crawler is the way I kind of get it. it's designed for bashing through but you would think for bashing through rocks this stuff would be a little little stouter a little, a little tougher but um, this is one thing too you got to make sure that when you fold this thing up these arms go the right way but man looks absolutely amazing I love the way the buggy looks. I love it. The, the lights, the fact that they work and everything. And we took a pretty good hit right on the roof and nothing here broke. Uh, I did lose these two panels, but uh, so far, you know, these lights here, the this LED light bar, I dig the realism kind of, the cockpit area and that. Just, it looks really incredible. I like the threaded uh, shocks. It's not, you know, sometimes they put these like, cheaper little clip-in things but i think at the price point this thing was selling at was like five something i would expect that oh i did have to downgrade my receiver too this came with uh, one of like one of the more top of the line receivers inside so i had to shrink it down to um i forget what model it still has avc but it's a smaller model it's a few less channels and then, of course, my antenna tubes right here, which is now ridiculous because the antenna's right here. So I can't run the antenna tube here because of the way the body folds, but I do have it just laying here. And so far, it didn't seem like I had any range issues. So I did have to downgrade the servo to put that box, but the box, I think, it fits in a perfect. You might get something slightly larger, maybe a little bit more rectangular, but that box fits pretty good. It's an Arma box. See, it's Arma. Uh, so I did have to swap out the receiver to go ahead and pull that off but I don't know I think it's cool it's just something unique it, it gives you s another tool in the kit to go out there like if you're, you need to run an RC somewhere you need pretty good ground clearance need lots of grip these tires really seem like they gripped good uh, you pull this thing out uh, and when I said for its size, this thing's plowing through like stuff the X Max would go through. Something I wouldn't expect a smaller like the 4S Creighton to go through. This thing was just plowing through it, man. It, for its size, it's fantastic what it's capable of going through. So, so far, you know, one drive, that's it. But I, I'm happy with it. I, I think it's a really cool RC. Uh, I like it. Maybe, I don't know, at full price, I'd probably, I think, expect a little bit more with the sale price. Yeah, I'm really happy with it for the sale price. <laughs> All right, everyone, there you go. There you have it. That's my honest look at the uh, Laser Nut by Lozy right here. Pretty cool vehicle, man. I, I like it. Hope you found it uh, enjoyable, fun, entertaining. And if you're looking for one, I do. I am an affiliate with... Um, a main and tower hobbies where you can purchase this and it would be greatly appreciated if you use my links if you want to buy one it's what helps me buy these so i can share these experiences with you everyone thank you very much for watching thank you for the support hope to see you on the next one